The Detroit Lions are at home this week, the latest team to feel the wrath of the Sarcasta flag. Hey ref, was that really a flag? Oh, it was? That's a penalty 100% of the yeah. time. Technically? Oh, you can't hear me? <laughs> what, some fans see flags like that? The same way Jeff's wife sees her husband sitting on the fence in that commercial. Anyway, they get the Jaguars this week, who are especially dangerous because they are playing with a nothing to lose attitude. Jaguars going for two. Lawrence in the shotgun. Looking left, throws left, and it's caught! St. Jones! The Jags go up by one! Welcome to the NFL Trevor Lawrence. Detroit, you are facing the best NFL version of Lawrence we've ever seen. He didn't just hit that two-pointer for the win last week. He drove the team down the field in the waning moments of the game, hit the big one with seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. Lawrence throwing to the end zone. Marvin Jones! And Lawrence wasn't just good on that last drive either. 321 yards for the day, 8.7 yards per throw, three touchdowns, rating near 130. That's what Duval expected when they used the number one pick on him. Gonna hear a lot of, he has arrived this week. Lawrence, Agnew, touchdown! What a drive by Trevor Lawrence! Lions secondary will be mostly preoccupied with wideouts. Christian Kirk is the Jacksonville touchdown leader. Lawrence threw to him nine times in week 12. Over the middle, what a catch by Kirk into Baltimore territory. Nine targets, four receptions is a little rough though. Zay Jones is the one coming in caliente. 11 catches for him, 145 yards versus the Ravens. Looking for Jones. The Lions secondary Lawrence and company face this week hasn't been good in 2022, but they come in feeling good. Josh Allen, they held him to 253 yards, 6 yards per attempt, a low 80s rating while picking him off. One of their best showings versus a quarterback this season. Great defensive timing by Hughes. The point of attack, get the arm around right at the last second. Lions passing attack now. Jared Goff, low 90s rating guy for the year, 98.9 rate last week. 240 yards, two TDs, no picks versus Buffalo. Goff back at the 10, back at the end zone. Goff did all that while getting hit 10 times, too. Two sacks. Jags have to pay special attention to Amon Ross St. Brown, because he's special. Averages a little over 70 receiving yards per game, slapped down 122, and found the paint versus the Bills. They fake it to Williams. They go up top, and it's a touchdown! St. Brown, the recipient! Jaguars defense has played the pass solid this season. Haven't played wide receivers as well, though. Good example, that d catch almost cost them the game last week. Going deep for Jackson! Run games are the X factor. Travis Etienne got hurt early last week. They think he's going to go this week, though, and if he can, he may have trouble sleeping the night before the game. Lions rush defense. 13-year-olds have a harder time sneaking by a buzzed carny at the county fair than runners do picking up five yards against Detroit along the ground. Yeah, that took some work. Only a few teams allow more than five yards per carry. They're one of them. Allowed 5.1 to Devin Singletary in Week 12. Staying on the ground, and Singletary's going. He's going all the way down to the 10-yard line. You can't sneak by any Carney either. You have to know how to read the room. Detroit's run game in the hands of DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams. He has 13 TDs on the year, his latest in Week 12. I'm always disappointed now, though. Forget Attica. Free Hinkle, I say. Can you tell I'm not a huge fan of certain rules? Here he is, Williams. He's in for the touchdown! Jaguars, now three games behind Tennessee. I know it sounds absurd to bring it up, but this season has something about it. Lions are three games behind the last wildcard team. I refuse to rule anything out at this point. I always leave something out in these previews, though, and rely on you guys to fill in the gaps with your takes. That's really what makes them good anyway. They'd be nothing without the comments section and predictions. Come on, those are the best part, right?